I remember trying to build a Gildo Cessna 180 rubber powered free flight, but thought the fuselage too difficult, so attached the wing and tail surfaces to a balsa stick. It did fly. Several years ago, I built another Cessna 180, but that didn't fly too well because it was heavy. After this, I built the Gillo Super Cub, which is similar, but I built it lighter, and it flew well. A friend of mine built a Goldberg Half A Viking free flight and gave it to me when completed. I put a worn out BB on it, no timer or DT. I always put a small amount of fuel in it and luckily avoided thermals but lost it in some really tall grass. Recently someone sold me a Half A Viking kit. I plan to build it in the future. After flying globe powered RC planes for a while I wanted to try something different. After losing a SIG Cub rubber-powered free flight to a thermal, I wanted to try more free flight in RC sailplanes. Someone at the RC field that saw me flying the SIG Cub told me of a local man that was really talented at indoor free flight, Floyd Richards. I called Floyd and he had me building a simple indoor plane. The Science Olympiad in schools and the Right Stuff event, I built some Right Stuff model airplanes. The high school in Menominee, Wisconsin had a student in the Right Stuff event and I traveled the 140 mile round trip a couple of times to help him. I helped a science teacher friend several times with building and flying rubber powered model airplanes as part of lessons. I was a guest of the AMA education group at a teacher's science convention in Cincinnati, Ohio. In 2011, AMA sent me this award. I did several demonstrations of model airplanes, often connecting it with the aviation history. I did some real short-term classes with kids, like for community ed and park and recreation. I traveled to Madison, Wisconsin a couple of times to teach classes to teachers in after-school programs. The first time was a class in mousetrap cars, and the next time was on building foam model airplanes. My greatest opportunity for model airplane classes with kids was in a summer program at local Winona State University known as College for Kids. First years it was model airplanes, but in later years I added other projects such as model solar cars, windmills, mousetrap cars, and water rockets. The program has ended after 30 years. I taught it for several years. I received an email from a middle school student looking for help with a Science Olympiad event known as Wright Capacitor. The rules spelled out specifications for airplane and a certain capacitor. I ordered a couple of capacitors, designed a model plane, and by postal mail I sent her a simple rubber power kit so she could start getting some building experience. I flew my capacitor plane outdoors and then sent pictures of it so the student could try to design something similar. She made several planes, some by modified kits, some were scratch build. I received an email from the girl's mother that said, You've been helping my daughter with Right Stuff event, and thanks to you, she did very well at the National Science Olympiad 2011, placing six out of 61 state teams from all over USA. The daughter would study aviation in college and had an internship at Boeing. It was a long path before participating in outdoor free flight contests. I built a P-30 model and only made test flights on hand winds. I built a discus free flight glider that I flew in small sites until it drifted into a cornfield when the DT failed. I installed electric E-36 equipment in a half-A star duster and flew it for months before putting the equipment in a Pearl E-36 I built. After online friend Hank Spurzel had suggested enough times that I should come to the Free Flight Nats, in 2016 I went for the first time with Dave Edmondson from Minnesota. I ended up writing the Nats newsletter because of a family emergency for the original writer. It was a good chance to meet people as I interviewed them. I also went to Minnesota Free Flight Contests. Thank you for watching my Model Aviation Autobiography. It could have been much longer, but I think this is a pretty good sampling of what I have done with the hobby.